Welcome. Yeah, so in a previous video, we saw how to do the Laplace transform for f prime of t. And so here in this video, we're going to do the Laplace transform for f double prime. But let's begin by stating that previous result, which is we saw that the Laplace transform for f prime of t is equal to s times capital F of s minus little f of zero. Yeah? And if we state that more clearly, it's s times capital F of s is a Laplace transform for f of t. So s times the Laplace transform for f of t, and then minus uh, little f of zero, right? Okay, cool. So we can then uh, now use this here, only instead of f prime here, we can put f double prime, which will mean that this f of t turns into f prime, and this minus f of zero turns into minus f prime of zero. Again, uh, since the relationship between this here and this here uh, is that this is the derivative of this. What I'm saying is if we have f double prime here, we can put f prime here and then here f prime of zero. Yeah? Okay, cool. So I'm saying the Laplace transform of f double prime of t is going to be equal to s times, and I've already talked you through that, so it's going to be s times the Laplace transform for what? f prime, right? Um, and then minus f prime of zero, right? And the relationship between this here and this here is that they're both about f. And so this here and what I'm going to write after it should be both about f prime, right? So minus f prime of zero. Cool. But then, but then, wait, this here, right? This here is that there. And so it's this here. Let's underline it like to be very clear. So that there, right, is that there. And that there, I said underline, I didn't um, misspeak. We're going to underline it, don't worry. So that, that there is the same as that there, right? Okay, so what I'm saying is, you probably get it already. In place of this here, we can write this here. Yeah, so let's do that. So we have S, and that S is clearly this S, times, and then underline is replaced by underline top left, which is s times capital F of s minus little f of zero, right? And then we still have this minus f prime of zero, so we have to keep that, right? And so we do, right? And so the only thing left to do is a little bit of algebra. Distribute right there and distribute right there. And what we do, we can write that the Laplace transform for f double prime is going to be s squared, right? And that's this s times that s, and then times uh, capital F of s, and then minus s times f of zero and then minus f prime of zero yeah cool i hope you enjoyed this keep watching take care